Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video of the greatest YouTube on the planet. It's your boy, Steven. Today, we're going to be showing you guys the deck list of the amazing World Pendulum FTK that I showed you guys before. It is the best FTK out there right now. And honestly, I play it in real life right now. I destroy people with it. I consider it a 90% success rate FTK. 99% uh, if they're playing a bad deck because instantly you get a higher chance to do it. And it's confirmed if you play ulti world, it's 100% FTK. So, I'm going to show you guys the deck list that we uh, uh, Myrtle made. Uh, it's an amazing list. I tweaked it a bit uh, to my own liking. Uh, later, I'll show you guys my list of it later. This is his list. But they're both amazing and a very, very high FT uh, FTK rate. Before we get started as well, I did want to tell you guys that I'm releasing my own playmat very, very, very soon, man. It is absolutely beautiful. The design is seen it. We put the designs in everything. I'm releasing a 10K. Stay tuned for the very first Triff Gaming merch on the channel. I'm so excited for that. Also, uh, if you guys are interested in Uber, I do make $100 every three, four hours. Like I just got back from an hour and a half. I made 50 bucks in an hour and a half. Uh, let me know if you guys want to do it. Just message me on social media. I'll tell you everything I do so you guys can do it too. All I ask is just uh, when you sign up with Uber, you use my code. That's all. And I'll tell you guys everything, all the tricks I use to make money with it. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe for the 10k giveaway. Uh, we have 10k at 10k subs. We're releasing a Dark Magician playmat for free to one of you guys. The very first giveaway. I'm gonna pick one of you guys at random, and every 1,000 subscribers after that, we're releasing another mat. A uh, complete giveaway just to give back to you guys because I love you guys, man. Thank you so much for all the support you guys giving me, man. The Pen God community. I love you guys, man. Honestly, I really do. So, without further ado, Pendulum. World FTK, check it. Out. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Steven from True Gaming, and we got Myrtle over here, who just invented a new Pendulum FTK. Seeing we got a new Junior Pen God over here in the making. Who knows, bro? Tell, why don't you tell uh, tell all my fans about your new FTK? All right, so my new FTK is something completely different. It's not just an FTK. This FTK, no, real men don't play FTKs. I OTK people on turn one. I don't let them get a turn. It's like Zexalop, but I just skip their turn. Now how I skip their turn? With the world. It's the world of pendulums. It's a whole new world for pendulums, dude. This card's insane. So say this is the new utopic block. It's basically like Zexalop, but you don't let them play. Like, you don't give them a draw phase. You don't give them an end yeah. phase. You literally just end their turn. Yeah, you just, you don't know. You don't even let them go into their turn. Yeah. <laughs> So you're saying you can play like five turns and they can't even play one? Yeah, basically. You if can you want. Yeah, because you can just like stall for time. You make basically make your opponent scoop. You attack them once and you're just like, uh, then you just like, handshake them. If they don't handshake you, you just wait till they scoop. That's hilarious. All right, bro. That sounds lit. I already know how this deck works, but let's show the. We already showed everyone the combo, uh, uh, the combo tutorial. Now we'll show them the combo, uh, the actual deck profile. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right. So the first is the turbo cards, right? So we're gonna play uh, three Master Cerberus for our turbo cards, uh, three Chronograph, three Curtain Razors, and then for the spell, one one for one, one Dragon Shrine, oh sorry, two Dragon Shrine, and one Foolish. And then now we have our plus cards. So for our plus cards, I'm running uh, triple Dark Worm for like a Shrine target, pretty nice. And then the DD engine. So triple Kepler, one Thomas, and uh, two DD uh, Dark Hunters, in case you draw one or whatever. And then for our Magician lineup, it's uh, this is actually different than usual, but it's a required for the deck just because of how it works. So you need three Oath Dragons, uh, three Harmonizing, and then three Wisdom. Uh, you don't play anything like uh, Black Fang or Purple Poison because you don't need them for the combo. Well, so you take some of these out of the way. Just yeah, for, so, so those are the Turbos, these are the Plus Cards. Yeah, now the Magician Count is just these. Yeah, I actually love this Magician Count. Yeah. I've been playing on this Magician Count, the ones you just showed. I've been playing it before. Yeah. Show it for them again? Like the three yeah, I've been playing this Magician Count before too. Like it's honestly really good. You gotta try it. It's way more consistent because no garbage Magician, just the good ones. Because you don't really need like the Black Fang or the Purple Poison. They honestly don't really do anything. And then let's move on to like some of the spell cards. So I play uh, Triple Pen Call. Uh, triple Dual Assigns to search out Pen Call. Because like you basically, like, if you get this, it makes the combo so much easier. You don't need a plus card if you have it. Uh, two Jackal King. Uh, the reason I don't play like a level four is because you want as many level sixes as possible, but not too many so you don't like brick. Because like, uh, you need it for the combo, which, I'll, which I showed off. Uh, one time gazer, unfortunately, it's a garnet, but you have to play it. Uh, one rescue hamster, because like he's really good for like just plusing you at the end, and he's generally a good pendulum card. Uh, one metronome, this is like the interesting one. The only reason I play him is because he's a fairy, and it's better than running like the other fairy, Ariana Grande, because all it gets you is like a counter trap, but you don't play counter traps. This has more attack points, and it sometimes has a relevant effect. 
Like, you can attack directly for game. Like, sometimes. Uh, never came up for Just to be able to, just for summon sorcerers to get to target this, to bring out the other period, right? Yeah, in case you draw the field spell. That's yeah. the only reason. Yeah. Uh, you play one gate zero, you don't need two, two is bad, because you don't run Vortex Dragon. And then the FTK engine, uh, Light Barrier, and the world. This is like, this is insane. You just need two cards in your deck, and you have FTK. Yeah. Um, so just so people know, just right off the bat, how do you FTK? Uh, do I FTK? Uh, you summon the world? And how do you summon it? So you just go three Electrums, right? Yeah, uh, you can do it two Electrums. You don't actually need three. So you can do like two Electrums, because all you have to do is bring out Summon Sorceress, like right here. And then this will target the Beatrice that you summoned already. And then this summons the world. And as long as you had a Harmonizing in your hand, plus any monster you can pen summon, you have FTK. As you go Goblin with these two, right here, like uh, whatever monster you pen summon, Harmonizing and Wisdom, make this guy Enlightenment Kalan. He adds Light Barrier back to your hand, which you dump with Beatrice. You get these out, and then now you make use these two. Make the most broken card in the game, Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon, he adds this guy back to your hand, because uh, he can be special summoned anyway, it doesn't matter. The game is summoned him off Chronograph, which is insane. You link away with this, and then you uh, just special summon the Firewall effect, the world. And then now you have an end phase, because this is on the field, so you yeah. get to choose the effect. It doesn't, like, it doesn't matter what you roll, you yeah. get to choose, yeah. So you, so you choose this phase. effect, and then the effect of this, just, so people don't, uh, just for people to know, it literally uh, skips the next turn. Yeah. Literally, uh, uh, during your end phase, you send two monsters you control to the grave, skip your opponent's next turn. Like, that's actually that's insane. It's insane, dude. And then, like, these two, you just throw them away for the world's effect. And then now you have three zones to Pendulum Summon to. And let's yeah. say somehow you don't OTK them. That's really rare, but you don't OTK them turn one. You just go, okay, end phase tribute two Pendulums, and then go again for your next yeah. turn. <laughs> like, that's insane, bro. That's amazing. Is there any more cards in the deck? Oh, uh, there's some, uh, yeah. Uh, these are the extra deck cards. So, so let's, go, let's go back to the whole, so that was the whole main deck. Yeah, and that was the combo. Deck. And I'll show you guys every extra deck card. Right, right. Like, uh, there's a lot of space, but here's what you guys can see. Mm -hmm. So I play um, one copy of Agnister, which Stephen actually recommended, over playing like some other negation card. Uh, Void Ogre specifically, one copy of Paladin. Uh, this is for the combo. You need one uh, mermaid, one goblin, Beatrice, Summon Sorceress, two Electrums for the combo, but you play a third, which I think you threw, yeah, right here. You play a third Electrum, just in case you need him, because like sometimes you, need, you don't have like the perfect combo pieces. Uh, then you play Firewall, Griffin, and then Metaltron as well. Just in case like they hand trap you, he's really good for like, if you get hand trapped. And then a Best Dweller and Tornado Dragon. This kills Gokis. Uh, this kills like any other rogue deck, like Altergeist or like the rest. Yeah, like basically. one kills Goki, one kills the rest. Exactly. And then uh, Nero more later, just because he's like really good. You play uh, Oak Dragon, so you can special summon it off, harmonizing for Nero as well. It's pretty nice sometimes. I've had the color a little bit. I love it, bro. Uh, let's check out the side deck. Side deck. This is like pretty changeable, but I played a uh, similar to the Trips version as well, like with the Cyber Dragons. So six Cyber Dragons for Gokis. So you scare, obliterate them. Uh, three sphere modes again for Gokis. Yeah, like if you draw one of these nine, uh, you take care of two or three, like two of this or three with this, and then you just go into Ignister. Their entire ex their entire targets are gone. Then you simply just destroy them after that. It's so uh, like you need to draw one of these. They're way better than hand traps. Oh, 100%. What else? Especially against Goku. So yeah, exactly. three red reboot for all your rogue matchups like yeah. Trickstar, Alter Geist. Those, those decks are garbage anyway, but like, yeah. you, know, just, you got it. Just in case. And then uh, one Phoenix is a utility card. Uh, Mega Fleet, like if you side this in, obviously. And then in time, I don't like doing this, but Cowboy for game, you know how it goes. Sometimes you have to combo for 10 minutes and just like Cowboy for game at the end. Yeah, you know, bro. Bro, that's an amazing profile. I really like it. Make sure to check out the combo tutorial if you haven't already. Shout out to the Junior Pen God in the making. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace. Yo, I hope you guys like that list. It was absolutely fire. I'm telling you guys, 1 million percent success rate with that deck. Why? Because it's the best deck. And your deck isn't the best deck. Because it's not Pendulum World FTK. So, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the 10k subscriber giveaway. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you, if you guys are interested in doing Uber, message me on social media. All I ask is use my coupon code when you sign up. And I'll tell you guys anything you need to know to make money with Uber. If you like the video, drop a like. Drop a comment. Tell me why I'm the greatest player in the planet. Because I am. And it's nothing new. But tell me anyways. Tell me why in the comments. Why do you guys think the world FDK is the best FDK in the world? And stay tuned for later tonight. I'm releasing a second video on the day. Uh, it's going to be a live match. Uh, match number three between Abdul and Dylan. And after that, uh, match number three, I'm releasing more matches. 
with me in it, the pen god destroying every other inferior player on the planet. So if you guys want to see me destroy other inferior players on the planet, leave a like uh, on here as well and let me know in the comments if you want to see that because I do this for a living. I destroy people. I destroy people. I destroy people inferior because I'm the superior being on this planet. Not just for Yu-Gi-Oh, but for everything. So see you guys at the next video.